So also every change of position calls for the application of relevant forces. Certain forces must come into play before any object can change from one position to another. Poverty is among the strongest forces. Poverty is among the strongest forces against mankind. Hallelujah. You see, marine powers, winches and where they are very, I mean, they are soft ones. They are not strong. But those ones that are not strong has hold man very strong, put man in captivity. And the ones, most of the time we look down on, like spirit of poverty, has caged many nations and frustrated nations. When poverty, spirit of poverty descend against a man, that man is granted to powder. When spirit of poverty remain, remember a country, a state, that state is finished. Praise God. Most of the time, men, uh, because these ones can easily manifest at any time, men always see the marine spirit or one year, these uh, soft, soft ones manifesting through women. They see it most of the time as women are more possessed. But I want to tell you, men are more possessed than what? Women. Because, because they don't even understand that poverty is very, very uh, strong and is a very strong spirit. When poverty holds a man, that man is finished. You can't see the beauty of that man. Praise God. Sorry to say, remember I told you through the teaching you will be, you will be provoked, but open your heart. Majority of our brothers that are here, they are not here because they are looking for a child. I remember I said majority. They are not here because um, witches and wizards are attacking them. They are here because of what? Praise <laughs> Because of what? Money. Hallelujah. You can imagine what we make a man to leave his business. Leave his home. And stay in a particular place. Was confined in a couple of particular place. For how many days? Seven days. Uh, and they are young men. <laughs> that is to tell you that it's not ordinary. Praise God. Because it's very hard to tie a man at a particular spot for one hour. <laughs> Praise God. I think I have said it before. I say most believers are poor today not because it is the will or, or purpose of God for them. Rather they are not well informed or they choose to be ignorant. However, the purpose of this book and this teaching eradicating poverty is not only to inform you but also to empower you to eradicate what? Poverty. Most believers are also poor because they are not open or broad-minded to God. When you are open to God, when your heart is free to God, the owner of true world, then winning war against poverty is very simple. Praise God. Winning war against poverty is very, very simple. Some of us come to God with the seat heart. And if God bless you with the seat heart, then God has broken his covenant. Then it's no more God. If God prosper you, while he know that your heart is full of deceit, then it's no more God. Praise God. Why? In Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10, God said he searched the heart. Can we look at it?
Jeremiah 17. Are you there? Look at verse 10. Jeremiah 17. Are you in verse 10? Can we read it together? I want to go. Hey, look at what he said. He said, even to give every man 